Hello everyone, Felipe from Electric Bike Advisor and today I'm going to review the Orbea Vibe H30 I want to give my thanks to Ivan Ho Cycles that provided me with this electric bike for review today I walk controller operation so to turn it on you have to press the middle button which is gonna be green indicating the system is on after that you're gonna have a solid color in this case orange meaning 50% battery left to go through the assistance levels you have to use up and down arrows and color wise Blue means pedal assist 1, green means pedal assist 2, and red means pedal assist 3. If you don't want to have any assistance, the control is going to be a solid white. And if you want to know the battery left, so uh, white color means you're having more than 75%. Orange means between 50 and 25%, and if it goes flashing red, means you're gonna have 5% left. All right, so I'm gonna test pedal assist one, and the one of the heaviest gears on the Orbea Bite H30. And going uphill as well. <laughs> I don't think I'm having much assistance from the motor. I'm feeling a little bit of push, but not that impressive push. Push. Okay, pedal assist two and same gear ratio. Nice. Going up uphill as well. And for sure, I'm having definitely the motor providing the power I want to take off from zero and then get into a very comfortable speed. Let's try assistant, assistance number three and then the same gear system. Wow, okay. Uh, for sure it feels like it is giving more power than the other two. I feel like I'm cruising quite nicely, going uphill. Not much work I have to do here. And I'm just like, no breaking sweat to be honest. Of course it's quite windy today, but I'm really impressed with the power 
of this little rear hub 250 watts motor um i think that difference in here i feel like orbea uh was trying to use to get the user to use the the, the shift system and work alongside with the motor uh, which is an interesting approach because it's gonna be helping you to save battery power providing a longer range and uh, yeah not having to, to charge the battery every now and then okay so I'm using right now pedal assist 3 and I want to to experience the motor noise which from my perspective is very quiet uh, if you are into these type of things with noisy motors Okay, so another feature I want to show with this bike, the Orbea Vibe H30 is the walking assist mode, which is gonna take you up to 5k an hour, but it's gonna help you to go uphill if it's uh, something that you want. So basically to operate it, it's pressing this down arrow for around three seconds, and you're gonna feel the bike kicking. So just be mindful of that. One, two, three, and there you go. So I'm not doing anything. Yeah, this is quite useful if you have to go on a very steep incline and you need that help from the motor as well while walking. Um, yeah, so quite fast pace. And it is an amazing job by the motor. Okay, the Orbea Vibe H30. This model has been built with high quality components like the motor and the gear system just to point out a couple of things. The design is really clean. I love having lights embedded in my frame in the frame for sure and super lightweight, which makes it great for commuting. I was surprised how powerful this small motor was and most impressed with the battery range. A couple of things that I was not fully convinced of was the iWalk LED light system. It was hard to read, especially the battery power. It was hard to see as well the color system in a bright day. I know this is something that the brand was correcting from previous models, but yet I think it can be better. To my opinion, the price tag is a little bit high, if I compare it with other brands that offer extra features and comfort, but I think the price tag is worth it if I were look, hoping to have a lifetime frame warranty and good customer service. That's something important for me. Overall, I really liked it. So I definitely suggest visiting your nearest bike shop or going to the one I'm suggesting in my review for a test ride.